Hello. Hello from the Design Automation Conference 18 in San Francisco. So I think it's an exciting moment because I was a CEO and the female CEO. So we are fighting for women <laughs> rights today. I have the pleasure to be with Sundari Mitra. <clears throat> she is the CD CEO of NetSpeed Systems. And I think it's an interesting company because they have a system level company and they do aggregation of IP, which is a difficult, uh, I would say, a difficult challenge. And they aggregate IP and if in various application areas like IoT and automotive, I think she will tell us uh, exciting stories. So it's my pleasure to, to let you announce what's new and exciting at NetSpeed Systems. Thank you very much, uh, Gabriella. It's, it's such an honor and a pleasure to be sitting across from you. Um, I mean, your accolades are many, and uh, I think all of us in the industry are trying to follow in your footsteps to try and uh, you know achieve our own little space somewhere, right? <laughs> um, but what is new and exciting at NetSpeed? Um, so NetSpeed Systems, the name itself says that we are a system level play, um, and we speed up the on-chip network. So we started as a fabric company, an on-chip fabric company that uh, specialized in a top-down or a requirements-driven method of building chip fabrics. So we were looking at connecting, let's say, a processor, uh, a, a GPU, a video encoder to memory and give the highest performance fabric between the memory and different compute engines. But when we you know, went out with our knock or a fabric product to our customers, one feedback we got from them is that you guys are doing a great job of integrating fabrics, of getting that done. Can you also give us a solution for the entire SOC? Can you create an integration platform where if we were to get IP from, let's say, a CPU from ARM, but a GPU from some other vendor, a DDR IP from some el someone else, when we put them all together, they get connected the right way with no interpretation errors, because if we don't do the right thing while we are constructing the SOC, we find the bugs very late in the stage of our integration, and it's very expensive to turn the whole design over again. So at NetSpeed, we have created a product called SOC Builder, SOC Builder, to help with the integration of all these IPs. It builds on the same platform that we use for our fabric or knock creation, but it adds to it. It adds to it an inference engine that can look at different IP libraries. We know how to read RTL, we know how to read IP exact or we know how to read higher level models of IPs, and we interpret and infer from them connectivity information and take the pain of integrating IPs from an SOC away from the engineers. Okay, so let me ask you a question. I understand that you assemble these pieces, you have a simulatable RTL. How can you be application specific? So. When people, when they usually tell you I am IoT uh, or automotive, it's because they have specific IP, but yours is generic. So do you think still that you have a solution different from IoT or automotive? Uh, that is a great question. Uh, so we are application specific. So we have a generic platform called SOC Builder, but we have specific products like Orion AI, which is specific for the AI, um, AI class of SOCs. We have something similar on the automotive side, which is safety compliant, so we are ISO 26262 compliant and ASLD compliant for that segment of the market. But at an architecture level, at a system level, we take in workload information for the specific application and then we will use the right IP, we will use the right method to give you a fabric that is optimized for that class of applications. So we are an application specific system integrator. So we wish you good luck <laughs> and a big success. Thank you very much. Thank you.